New at 430, two men have been arrested in connection with an overnight shooting in Whitehaven that sent a man to the hospital. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Alex Coleman. And I'm April Thompson. One of the suspects reportedly pointed a gun at a security guard's head. WRAG's Jarita Patterson has reaction from those familiar with that area. Wednesday morning, there was a sudden gust of wind that began ruffling trees. All the while, nerves were ruffled following a violent attack hours earlier. There's a lot of riffraff coming in and out. Just before 1 a.m., detectives responded to the Wind Branch complex, as mentioned in this police report. A few turns off Mill Branch Road in the heart of Whitehaven. Just across the street is where one woman we spoke with has called home for several years. I lived in the area five years. From April of 2023, stretching into this past April, the city's data hub shows police have responded within a half mile radius of the overnight attack 35 times for aggravated assaults, which is why the mother of one we spoke with says what happened was not a complete surprise. Yeah, I come and go and I stay prayed up and stay in the house. Over the phone, a woman who identified herself as the property manager at Wind Branch described watching surveillance video showing an injured man, she says, not attacked here, instead stumbling to the complex where he collapsed. Security along with the tenant, she says, rendered aid until help arrived. The male victim was rushed to the hospital fighting for his life. Despite security on duty as well as visible security cameras, those who are familiar with this area telling us it's simply not enough and said they emphasize it will require a community collaboration to finally rid this community of crime. If you ain't got God, you ain't got nothing. For your news leader in Whitehaven. You gotta make one step, he'll make two. Jorita Patterson, WREG, News Channel 3. Investigators collected two handguns and marijuana at the scene. Both suspects are set to face a judge tomorrow morning.